All right, so we cut it in and I'm back on the trail. The goal of these videos is to hike all of the Florida Trail. And I, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's where we're heading with this, with this whole thing. Now to do that, you know, that's a lot of gas. Now I, I got a lot of friends, they say, oh, we're environmentally conscious and we want to save the world. And that's, you know, and I do too, I do too. And uh, so let me tell you what, what I've done. And uh, I'm gonna be picking up, I'm, well, actually I'm taking a motorcycle license class this weekend. And uh, there's a Honda, the new, let me just swing it around so you can watch the trail instead of my stupid face. <clears throat> so we're getting the uh, Honda ADV 150. And uh, boy, that thing, I tell you what, it goes, I can't wait to take it back in the woods and everything, but that's gonna be the, the tool that I'm gonna use to, to uh, drive around and do different sections of the Florida Trail. Now, if I, if I was really tough and mean, I'd, uh, I'd put on a backpack and I would just, there's some people that have backpacked the whole darn thing. And man, my, my, my hat's off to them. I, I don't find a lot of places to camp along here other than just hole up in the woods. You know, there's not a, not a lot of designated camping areas that I've been able to find. And uh, you'll kind of see that. Now this is the first part of the trail after what I just did in the last video, which was cutting everything in. And uh, so that you can get here without having to go up on the road and risk your life with crazy drivers and stuff like that. So it just kind of winds into the woods and uh, and then we're gonna break out into an open area and we'll continue the video from there. All right, so we're continuing down the trail. Let's look. See, that's just what that whole section looks like. Isn't that a nice look? Uh, very, very beautiful. I'm trying to go nice and slow here because you know, like, like I said, I don't like the camera on this phone. And uh, we'll be getting a GoPro, maybe Black Friday. I got If there's a hell of a deal on them, uh, I'll pick up one and then these video the video quality will improve quite a bit You know the Samsung it, it does a great job, you know If you're just like doing a film like this, but once you get going I just noticed that it just gets blurry and no matter what I do with the resolution Maybe there's a Samsung expert out there that can tell me the settings that's best for uh, for Rumble or YouTube videos and uh, but you see you're getting a different look now now eventually this is going to grow in and uh, This will be really beautiful uh, right through here uh, so this is this is a different section. Anyway, I was getting back to my environmental tips here. Okay, you know a lot of people. Oh, we're going to do the Green New Deal and everything. Hey, you know there are some simple, simple things that you can do to help the environment. You know, I, I don't care if you're conservative or liberal, whatever. Okay, water bottles. Okay, why are you buying them damn plastic water bottles? You know that's an environmental catastrophe. Okay. Get you, go to Amazon, get you some Yeti water bottles or whatever you want to get, some of the Chinese knockoffs or whatever, and just refill them and get you, uh, I use a Brita, actually a, a pure, pure later water filter. I keep it in the fridge so I always have nice cold water and I just pour, you know, I drink out of those water bottles and just refill them. Why are you using plastic water bottles? That's number one. Okay, number one on my hit parade. Number two, plastic bags. Now, how daggone difficult is it for you to have a bag, you know, and I, you know, you can get them at Sam's Club or Costco or wherever you want those big, big black bags. They're reusable, okay? I mean, I tell you what, they're tough too. You can carry a hundred pounds in one of them damn bags. You know, quit getting the damn plastic bags. They should be banned. You know, that's one thing I'm, I, you know, California, oh my God, glad I don't live there. But anyway, they did ban those plastic bags. And I think that was good. And here's here's another one. And I, I've heard conservatives make fun of this, but straws. Do you really need a straw to drink your drink? I mean, come on. You know, that's more plastic that we're just throwing away by the, you know, and the, okay, it's just a straw, you know. But when you when you add up, you know, 30 or 300 million people getting a straw every day, that's 300 million straws a day. So, <laughs> so that adds up to a lot of waste, okay? So there are some simple, simple things. And I was going on about my Honda ADV, all right? This is another simple one that you can do, all right? I'm gonna get 100, 100, well, that's 70 to 100, okay? 70 to 100 miles to the gallon. Now, how many liberal fanatics out there, you know, that are talking about the Green New Deal are riding around on a, a scooter, and I say a scooter, that's a motorcycle, uh, and getting 100 miles or 70 miles to the gallon. None, they're, they're driving their, uh, well, maybe a Tesla, that'd be good. But I mean, but still, you know, I, a lot of them are driving these really, you know, fancy cars and getting, you know, 
20 miles to the gallon, 16 miles to the gallon, whatever, you know. I, I just, I don't get it, I don't get it, I don't get it. You know, live what you preach, okay? That's all I got to say. All right, we're gonna come up on the ball fields here in just a second. I wanna get a clip of that, and then I'll get another clip because we're gonna get a different look as we dive down into the woods. Okay, I just wanted you to see this. Uh, you know, we're not 100% back to normal here in Florida. You know, we are open, um, but uh, you know, it used to be before the virus, this place was in constant use. I mean, the ball fields go way back that way. I, I don't even know how many are in here, maybe 15. I'd say you got concession stands and there'd be hundreds, if not thousands of people in here watching the kids play soccer over here. Uh, now, I did see a soccer game uh, here recently, so that was good. It's not like it's totally abandoned, but you can see it's a beautiful day today, and uh, nobody's here. Well, there's a car up there, one. But, uh, and it's sad. I mean, I guess we're still, made, our tax dollars are still maintaining it. But anyway, I just, anyway, we're going to go, let's get going. Uh, we're going to move back into the woods here. Um, I, I can't wait for you to see this. This is another, that's what I said about this section of the Florida Trail, is you get all looks and uh, we'll, get, we'll get that in just a second. All right, so you're getting a little different look of the trail. Uh, see how much unique this is compared to where we were? And you know, we're not that far along from where we were. And that's, uh, so you're getting a whole different feel. Uh, well maintained, I mean, they, they came through and I guess the trail crews and they've done a fantastic job. I don't need to do anything here. I, when we get to the end of this section, which is actually quite far, you know, it's, it's interesting how far you can go, even though I'm very close to uh, the villages here, uh, without crossing a road or even seeing uh, civilization. Um, but anyway, um, oh, I wanted to get back to the environmental stuff. You know, every time we have a hurricane uh, warning here in Florida, everybody goes out and, you know, they've sold you, you people a bill of goods. You know, they go out and they buy water. You know, you're paying for water. You already have tap water, people. And most of the water here in Florida is, is pretty good. Um, yeah, you might want to run it through a water filter. I got, that's what I do to just get that chlorine taste out of it. And uh, I completely understand that, you know, the bottled water may taste a little better, but you know, it's been proven that those plastic bottles are not safe. And uh, it's definitely not good for you. And especially if you leave that bottle out in the heat or freeze it, it's, you know, that uh, those um, plastic particles get in the water and it's just not good for you. So, you know, if you really want to have an emergency water supply, fill up your bathtub. If you got a hot water heater, you got plenty of water right there. Um, if it's not, you know, one of the ready uh, hot water heaters. Um, yeah, another thing is you can buy you at any camping goods store or Walmart. You can get one of them five gallon jugs. Uh, just fill that up with tap water so that you have some emergency water supply. And the other thing is, you know, I talked about in my backpacking videos and my camping videos is you can get a water filter. I recommend the Swiss Kytaden filter. Uh, it's more expensive, probably around two or three hundred dollars, but you could pump money, um, pump water from a mud puddle with that darn thing, and drink it. You know, right out of the right, right from the mud puddle, and uh, so that way you've always got an emergency water supply. All you got to be able to do is get to a pond or a lake of fresh water, and just run it through that water filter. Um, so you don't need to be buying all these plastic bottles for emergencies and, and throwing them in your house, and then just creating a plastic garbage nightmare. Uh, so, yeah, and plus that, that the water filter, you know, you might want to go for a little backpacking thing. You know, I, I understand a lot of people, you don't want to go out for eight days, you know, like I do, or used to anyway, and, and hike uh, eight miles a day. I mean, that's, you know, no, but you might want to do a little overnight trip, get out in the forest and uh, have that water filter along. And then, you know, you, that way you don't have to carry a whole lot of water and you can get to a stream and pump you some water and uh, have a nice meal. You know, like I said, I carry those mountain house where you just boil the water and add it in all right and uh, they keep you know that's another thing they lot better than MREs they keep many years now I don't know how the freeze-dried process that they're using but I mean you're, you'll be dead before they expire and you can't eat them all right so this is this section we're going to come out into an open area at the dump and we'll get a look at that next so now you're getting a little different look that's the old dump up there a lot of trash buried in there, and I think it's closed now. Well, not obviously, I'm not closed, but I mean they're, they're relocating it. And uh, so we just came came through that area right there. Uh, like I said, it's a different look. You know, kind of nice uh, seeing the trees and whatnot. And uh, 
you know, we have fire trails. This is one thing we do forest uh, management here in Florida. I'm sorry they don't do it in California. They should. Um, but, you know, we cut these areas out. These are fire breaks uh, going down that way. Of course, this way, you know, the whole field here is a fire break. So we're going to continue on the trails. And see, now you're getting a whole different look. You know, and also, hey, I wanted to get back on that water thing just real quick. And then I'll shut up about it. But, uh, you know, look at how much money you're spending for water. I don't, it's the biggest fraud in the history of the country that we're, they've convinced people to buy water. Well, you're already buying your water. you got tap water. You know, we're very privileged in this country. And, you know, if you're not homeless, you, you've got water coming into the house. You don't need to buy the bottled water. That's a huge expense. I mean, if you compared how much you're paying for your tap water compared to what you're paying for that bottled water, it's not even close. I mean, it's, it's like a thousand, a thousand times more. So just for your budget alone, get you a little five gallon jug, you know, in an emergency, you don't need to buy the bottled water. All right, I just, uh, this, this, this section kind of moves just like this. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's continue on for just a second so you can get a good, good feel for what it's gonna look like through here. And uh, there you go, I think that's enough. And uh, we'll get, I just wanna get a little view off to the sides here. So you can kind of see what I'm seeing, and uh, we'll uh, I'll get when I get to a different look, we'll start up again. Wanted to give you another look at this because it really is pretty. Um, you know what we do in Florida. You see how all the brush is coming in. You know another tip to California is uh, we do control burns of the underbrush here, and the pine trees. You know they survive. So I know the, uh, the environmentalist uh, uh, wackos that don't understand forest management won't let California manage the forest properly. And so what happens is if you let this underbrush get too, too crazy, then uh, all the trees will burn down. But if you just control burn it, the trees, they do okay. And the underbrush comes back in a period of time. But let's look at the trail. Isn't that beautiful? You know, and that's another thing I was telling you on the last video that it's just a shame that people don't know this resource exists, you know, here in Florida for sure. I imagine up your way, there's probably places where you could go and hike and just get away from it all. And, you know, your brain, just give it a break. You don't need to be tuned in to the news or watching movies or, you know, just get out here. I, I put on my headphones and listen to the radio. What the hell? And, you know, listen to some good rock and roll. That's my music. Uh, you, you know, if yours is rap or country, you know, whatever. But kind of, kind of a nice look. Isn't that beautiful? All right. So this is, this will continue on for a while, and uh, I'll break out the video. I, once again, I have not seen a single person on the trail. There was hundreds of people back at the park, by the way, hundreds, and uh, not one person over here, not one. Isn't that just insane? All right. All right. So we're getting a different look on the trail. Another fire uh, break, uh, forest management. Hey, California, I keep saying that. You can do this too. So we, uh, you know, they they come through here. I've seen the vehicles coming down, uh, and they maintain this. You know, make sure that there's always a fire break. But anyway, I just wanted you to get a look at this. So see now, we just came through the pine forest here, and uh, and now we're just going to get a. It's like a whole different trail. You know, all of a sudden, you're diving into these huge oak trees, and it's uh, just beautiful back in here. Look at that, some dumbass put a, painted the tree, you know, whatever. It's just stupid. Um, but, uh, you know, people want to carve their initials and uh, paint stuff everywhere. I don't really get it. But, uh, all right, so we're, we're kind of moving on through. You know, look at the look at the palm tree there. Just beautiful, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, that's why I really love this section of the Florida Trail. Um, I'm gonna hey you know one thing here I I'm just gonna throw out a universal truth to everyone like I said a lot of people got mad because I talked about the the Dominion or computerized voting machines um, let me explain something as a cybersecurity expert and you should know this as a home computer user there, on your phone okay there's not a computer on earth that cannot be hacked let me let me just restate that there's not a computer on the planet that cannot be hacked okay so that is a little truth for you guys to just suck up, all right? So you don't want computers counting your votes, okay? 
that needs to be a human verified manual process if you want to keep the integrity of the vote sacred okay a lot of blood in this country has been spilt so that people in this country can vote and have it mean something and not you know somebody get on a keyboard and type in a few keystrokes and sway the uh, outcome of, of an election disenfranchising all of the people that uh, voted for the person that they wanted to represent them because see that's one thing you've got to understand all right you're not representing yourself uh, and, and, and you know in the government okay you pick people to represent you and vote and and you know basically enact policies that you think are important okay so if if a computer comes in and somebody gets in there with a little flash drive reprograms that computer and gives the election to somebody else and i'm not saying it happened or anything like that then you your vote was meaningless and so how are you going to feel about that you know go live in venezuela you know their votes are meaningless you think if you vote in venezuela it really matters uh, no not at all same machines used in Venezuela that we're using here in the United States. How stupid is that? And by the way, Dominion uh, has disappeared and lawyered up. So there must be a little little something under the cover there. Just saying. All right. So that's enough. See how we're coming out into a different look? Isn't this great? See, that's what I love about this section of the trail. All right. That's enough for now. No, I'm taking too much video. But I just kind of wanted to show you. We just came through that. And, uh, yeah, we're getting another fire break. You know, uh, so see what they do. I mean, isn't this great? So that this way, you know, the firefighters can get back in here if there's ever a problem and take care of it. Now, notice this. So see how the trail is changing right after the fire break. Right, right now, we're going to dive back. Look at that oak tree. Isn't that just impressive? My goodness. You know, how old do you think that thing is? Just hundreds and hundreds of years old. And uh, so we're coming back in a whole different look. I mean, look at where you came from. You know, this is why this is just astounding that this trail doesn't get any use. I haven't seen a single person today. But uh, so now we come back in. And by the way, like trail crews, my hat's off to you. Gosh knows the maintenance you have done. The trail is in perfect shape other than the sections that I cleaned up myself. I mean, look at that. They've been back in here cutting that stuff. Uh, just, just fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I, you know, we need to get the word out that these trails exist and it's a resource. Although, you know, I, I love having it to myself, but, you know, if it's just little old me, eventually these trails aren't going to get maintained. So we do need to get some people back here and join them. And I uh, just wanted to give you the look. All right, that's enough. Man, if I could record the whole hike, I would. I mean, just look at this. Fabulous, fabulous. Just going in through these oak, these massive trees, whole different. I mean, it's like a, it's like a whole different trail, isn't it? I just, uh, I just love it, love it, love it, love it. Love. So I just wanted you to see kind of this little windy section, and then those trees right there, and those massive trees. All right, that's enough. Oh man, I almost walked into that guy. Can you see him? Let's zoom in on him. Uh, let's see, it's not zooming. There we go. Come on, zoom. There we go. Can you see him? Oh man, oh man, if I put that in my face, glass, the good thing I'm, hey, he's eating a bug, check that out. Isn't that cool? Glad it ain't my face. He's just low enough that I went underneath him, I just wasn't paying attention, because, you know, the trail is in such great shape. All right, wow. Thank goodness, you know, let's get real close. Yeah, can you see him? Man, oh man. <laughs> I'm probably taking too much video, it's going to get too long, but look at that. Looks like uh, one of them horror movie, you know, trees with its tentacles kind of going off into, into the area, you know, you expect to see a, a one of the a swamp creatures or something come out of the bottom of that tree. This is what you see along the way on this trail, you know, see I just came out of that. We dove into this little oak here, and then we're coming right back out into another open area and uh i just think it's cool man i just think it's really really cool all right you know i just noticed a stupid phone's been zooming in after i zoomed in on that spider i would have thought it would reset every time you cut it off but no anyway that's why i'm a video idiot but just wanted to show you real quick we're transitioning again we kind of came through there, 
coming up on another fire break and uh, I think it's the final one and then we're gonna get up to a road and that's about all we're gonna do today all right so we're coming up to what I consider kind of the end of this section of the trail because uh, there's a road here and uh, it's pretty pretty long <laughs> long hike back I'm probably gonna regret going this far but I want to get a, a view of the intersection down here because I keep writing it down and then I lose the piece of paper and because uh, this will be the next section we're going to do after this one I got a you know I love telling stories and uh, my favorite story was right after the virus hit they uh, they said these trails were closed why you know how stupid can you be I mean I haven't even seen one person here today and so I was hiking along here and I thought wow you know what are the odds if a ranger stopped by on that road he'd see me over here because you know I do wear my my fluorescent stuff uh, back then because I was afraid you know some hunters might be out or and about and they wouldn't see me you know so anyway down here I come up and they had it roped off and I'm looking at it just thinking how stupid is this and <laughs> it just so happened a ranger pulls up and he hollers at me he says uh, you know you're not supposed to be hiking that trail I said well I didn't see anything on the other side and there really wasn't at that time and uh, I said but uh, you know I gotta hike back I said unless you want to give me a ride to my car and I just turned around and started walking and uh, to his credit he didn't harass me any further but you know, can you imagine having a job where you got to enforce a stupid edict like that to keep people from hiking the trail? You know, you see one guy out here hiking a trail, <laughs> and you got to say something to him. I would have felt like a complete idiot. I bet, I bet that ranger did too. Boy, I would love to have his job though. I would, I would have just been laughing, saying, "Hey, man, you're not supposed to be hiking that trail, but get on, get on back to your car," you know, because uh, I mean, he's got to do his job. But, all right, so let's, let's get the sign up here. And that'll be it for today. So we are at 40, Southeast 41st Court and Southeast 73rd Street. And the trail uh, dives right back down in right here. And by the way, that's just for me. <laughs> so that I don't forget it. Now this section, it just doesn't look like it gets maintained. And I'm looking at it now. And uh, I'm, like I said, the last time I tried to hike it, I didn't get very far. And yeah, you know, if I came this way, I would bring my weed eater in here. Already I'm seeing, but uh, no, I mean, it is thinning out. Maybe, maybe I can do this section of the trail. Uh, it looks like, yeah, they've done some maintenance back in here. I'd still bring my weed eater and do a little bit of work. Uh, and uh, we'll save this for another video. Um, see, once, <laughs> where's Waldo? Where'd the trail go? Okay, there's there's an orange marker there, so it looks like I think it's going this way. You see what I'm talking about? This this really needs some work. Um, they just don't get this section, and uh, I'm just kind of looking. I'm pretty sure I'm on the trail. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's going going this way. So I'll have to I'll actually have to wear my hikers and uh because this this is you know once again trash 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 everywhere you go um so yeah you can see that you would want to be outfitted i'm just in shorts with a t-shirt today by the way i almost ran into another spider <laughs> and this one was face level so yeah you can kind of see that needs some work man uh you you, you got to be outfitted for this and i'm not so we're going to do this section now, this should take me over to the santos trailhead uh, when when we do this section and now that I know where that intersection is uh, We'll come back here and make another video someday probably be in, in a while. I got motorcycle class tomorrow and the next day and then um, Pick up the motorcycle on Black Friday uh, Wife's got to go back to the hospital on Monday. So a lot of a lot of stuff happening and I'm sure it is in your life Hey, uh, happy Thanksgiving everybody. I'll uh, probably won't get another video up until after the holiday All right, I lied one more little video. You see this is the remnants of of their COVID lockdown. They had these little stupid little ribbons on, on the poles. You know, catch me if you can, Ranger, catch me if you can. I mean, this was how stupid it was. I mean, look at this, there's nobody back here. Yeah, and I did want to give uh, one more little commentary. You know, one of the problems that we have with the Florida Trail, in my opinion, is uh, there's really, I mean, unless you can, I mean, you can camp anywhere. I mean, you could pull up and, you know, put your tent in those weeds over there, but I mean, it would be nice if they would cut in some little uh, little backpacking camping areas, maybe put a picnic table in there. That would be great for people hiking the trail too. 
because then you could stop and have a picnic and bring some food, you know, and do different sections. And uh, but I, you know, that would be really cool for the for the for the uh, the guys that uh, that want to backpack this trail and you know do it the whole way. Um, I just and that's true of you know a lot of trails in the national forest and everywhere. It just doesn't take a whole lot to put together a primitive camping area. And uh, you know it'd be nice if they put a, a little vault toilet in there. You know uh, I understand, but uh, that it costs money. But you know it's really not a big deal. You just, you, know, you need some plywood, some pressure treated wood, dig a hole, and uh, you know put put it put a little toilet seat in there, and boom, you got a little vault toilet. And uh, it I wouldn't get much use. I mean look at this. I've been out here all day, not a single person, not one. So you know that little primitive camping area. It wouldn't get my hell. I'd love to come out here and camp. I think that'd be cool. Just do a little overnight trip, you know, come out with the wife and uh, you know, just backpack out to a little primitive camping area. Just a thought, Florida Trail. If anybody ever watches this, all right, that's, that's definitely it for the day. Man, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't zoom in on this guy. Here I am hiking a section of the trail that I thought was safe, and man, I walked right into that guy. Man, you should have seen me screaming. Get her real close. Okay, he, he looked like he was looking at me just a little while ago. Oh man, let's zoom back a little bit. Anyway, I'll try to get him a little closer. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Oh, there he is. Oh god. And here I am. I mean, this is the section I'm doing. I mean, how the hell did he get out? And he was hanging right here. Right, man, he hit me right in the chest. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Yeah, we're on, still in the woods, getting back to the car, and this stupid daylight savings time. Who the hell thought that crap up? Got dark on me, but uh, just thought I'd see how what the phone looks like in the dark. Be pretty cool. This, of course, is running my night vision, so I'll have to just make this a brief, brief video. Can't wait to see what this looks like.